packet. Um, and so I would ask uh, the city manager to work on making that happen. We got it. Great. Okay, we'll go ahead and move to item number five. This was pulled by a member of the public, so if um, members of the public would like to speak on item number five, I'd invite you to come forward. Good evening, Mayor, City Council. I have something here that you've never been exposed to before. This is the United States Constitution. In the Bill of Rights of this Constitution, those are rights granted to us by the Creator, not people like you. The very first amendment of those Bill of Rights states that no law can be made abridging the freedom of speech. That's pretty powerful. No law. Think about that for a second. No law can be made abridging the freedom of speech. So that means any ordinances, resolutions, or codes that you make up are null and void as they do not supersede the Constitution. Mayor Pro Tem Jan Flory, wow, you really are something else. You had quite the quote at the last meeting. You said, I do recall many times in the past, though, that when people begin to repeat themselves and you are hearing the same thing over and over again, the mayor should have the ability to say the hearing is closed except for those who have something new to contribute. Then you went on to say that business is impeded by the fact that you've got 16 people getting up and saying the same thing over and over again. I think there needs to be some control with that. The presiding officer can limit debate as to what is repetitive or irrelevant. Excuse me, but who the hell do you think you are? What makes you think you have the right sitting up there to determine if, I, if what I have to say is irrelevant? I am American. I have every right to say what I have to say. Ms. Flory, it sounds like you don't want to be here, and you're not even looking up as I'm talking. Whoop. So why don't you just get up and leave so I can address the rest of the council? You too, Mayor. As Americans, we have a right to filibuster this government. The Brown Act was put into place to prevent this from happening. But in America, you are allowed to fill up an entire room with people, have everyone speak, disallowing this body to conduct the people's business. There is no such thing as a relevant speech. Why are you still here? You seem to not care about what we have to say. The reason why 16 people tell you the same thing is because you aren't doing what they say. They need to say it over and over again to get it into your thick skulls, and you have to sit through it. All of you are so disgusting to me. The fact that you would even consider this should be an arrestable offense. This is subversion. This is treason. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker. Molly McClanahan, Fullerton. Mayor and members of the city council, I attended the March 15th council meeting arriving at 7 p.m. My interests were the scheduled public hearings. The first three hours were devoted to questions of an administrative nature. These, 